Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. All right, hello, and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast. This is the podcast where we have digital discussions in the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sometimes sports. As always, I'm your host, Peter Romoliotis, and on Twitter, I go as PD Beats. Very uh, excited to be joined by a MTV personality. We're with Tony Rains. Tony, welcome to Pop Turnative, man. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me on. No problem, no problem. So, um, right off the bat, how did it come? How did it start with you kind of being on these MTV shows like The Real World and The Challenge? What was kind of the process of getting involved with those? Um, basically, I I was I was twenty five and. Um, kind of basically felt like I was in the prime of my life. And my buddy came down from California and he said, Hey, let's make this casting tape and we're going to submit it to MTV to uh, try to get on a real world. It's kind of like our last shot. You know, you're 25, you you're kind of running out of time here. So uh, he came down, he made one, I made one, uh, sent it off. And basically, uh, they liked my video. They liked what I was bringing to the table and they kind of pushed me along through the casting process. I was able to get on the real world and, um, I don't know how the hell I got casted, why they wanted me for a challenge. Uh, I guess it worked out because right after my real world season, it was uh, Bloodlines. And uh, my brother was on my real world season as a, he just flew out as a guest to come visit me while I was out there. So they already kind of had a relationship with Shane. So I was able to get on a challenge with the Bloodlines. And um, yeah, the rest is history, man. Well, that's, that's, that's great. I mean, and... I remember um, not as much as I used to, but the, like we said before we started, like I used to watch the real world all the time. And it's just, there's so many different, uh, and a lot of people could like agree that the, the real world is kind of like, like a lot of reality shows, like the guilty pleasure show that they watch. Yeah. Um, were you into like reality shows before you got on it? Uh, well, so I guess, you know, when I was a teenager, I, I was just like everyone else, you know, 10 years ago, I was watching the real world religiously. Mm-hmm. Uh, same, same with the challenge. Uh, as when I did my casting tape for real world though, I wasn't really, I mean, I don't really watch a whole lot of TV anyway, uh, before I got on, before I got on TV. And so i kind of was a little out of touch with it. And in fact, even when I was going through the casting process, the producers would tell me, Hey, don't go back and look at any other footage and, and, Nothing like, like, don't look at other previous seasons because we want to get you, like the real you. And I guess, you know, because if you do go watch other seasons, you'll kind of cling to a character or cling to a, a personality on the show. And maybe you'll try to imitate them or emulate what they're doing. Uh, so I took their advice. I didn't, I didn't look at the previous season. The previous season was Explosion before me, uh, Real World Explosion, when they brought the X's out. I probably should have watched that season. <laughs> I probably could I, I probably could have been uh, a little more prepared for what they had in store for me. Um, but yeah, no, I went out there completely blind because, uh, I just, I, I wasn't really watching a whole lot of reality TV at the time. I was super, super busy with my job back home. So, um, but now I am kind of, I'm, now that I'm back on, now that I'm on TV, uh, I'm a fan of reality TV. I, of course I watch the challenge, uh, the real world. I don't, I think, I guess it got canceled and it's not on anymore. But, um, besides that, I check out, I haven't really watched big brother, but, um, I like to be <laughs> one of the guilty pleasures of mine is my girlfriend. She loves Band of Pump Rules, and I think Jax is hilarious. So he's supposed uh, to man. <laughs> he was supposed to come on my show. He needs to. He needs to. Jax, go ahead and do it, man. Man, do it. Do it. Do it he was boy. supposed to. I was talking to him because he's also a big hockey fan too, and I have a hockey background. So it's like we've been talking cool. for a while. Yeah, no, he. That's that show's huge. He needs to do it. Yeah, they got their new season coming out. Uh, I think my, I think tomorrow. My girlfriend was telling me, "Yeah, oh my god, we gotta watch it tomorrow." I was like, "All right, yeah." We'll That's an, there's so many That's shows it. though. Like, oh, I, oh, and and a new one, a new one. I don't know if you checked it out. Floor Bama Shore. Wh- this which, is this is one? this is gonna be. It's called Floor Bama Shore. So it's basically like Jersey Shore in the South. Okay, so it's like a reboot of Jersey Shore. Like Buck Wild, it. almost. Remember kind, Buck kind, Wild? Kind of like Buck Wild. Kind of like Party Down South, but. To, I mean, I'm not trying to be biased because I'm on MTV, but this show is is better than either one of those, and um, they got some really entertaining oh, personalities man. on there. So that's that's one we watching. We're watching now and try to keep up with, and that's coming on tomorrow night. So it's going to be a little clash in the house. She's going to want to watch Vanderpump Rules, and I'm going to want to watch the. And, and Shore, Jersey so. Shore just announced that they're they're back. 
Yeah, I'm ready. I'm curious to see what they're uh, what they're gonna bring to the table after taking a little uh, hiatus. But yeah, I'll be tuning into that too. Jersey Shore, Jersey Shore, pretty much is what, in my opinion, kind of killed Real World because uh, I was I was watching Real World up until Jersey Shore came out. When Jersey Shore came out, it was that was all I was worried about on the TV. Yeah, was seeing what uh what the situation and Vinny and Paulie D and all those guys were up to. No, absolutely. And you mentioned it, and I congratulate you. Um, like you're, you're like, well, you are, you are a father and you recently had a, a baby. So con- yep. again, congrats on that. Um, how is that? So look at like, for, since your first day of being on the real world until now with, with your new baby, how have you, how is that kind of, ch- how, how has that changed you? Would you say, I mean, I'm sure it has um, a lot, but how would you say like the Tony then and the Tony now with, you know, <laughs> Well, the the Tony then was he was a wild man. He was mm-hmm. he was crazy, and people may still think, "Oh, he's you're you're wild today." But um, you know, I I thought when I when my first daughter was born, I thought I would immediately like change, like it would immediately like I all the the switch would be flipped, and I would start walking that straight line, and everything would be perfect in my life. But um, you know, it doesn't it doesn't happen that it doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen like that. Uh, you have to. You have to see, yeah, you have to form that relationship and, and over time it grows and you start to, to feel the responsibility and uh, you start feeling love and uh, for another person and you, you kind of care about that person more than yourself. And that, I mean, that's taking time. And, you know, by the time I have my second daughter a year later, yeah. um, you know, it, it, there's more responsibility there. So I've been, I just, I've been growing as they've been growing and um, I, I've, I've changed a lot. I've, I've, from real world to now, uh, there's been a, a really, really big difference. Of course, I still slip, I still fall, I still, you know, make bad decisions. But uh, mm-hmm. I think every day I'm getting a little better. And um, yeah, man, I, I don't. From from real world to now, it's just it's. I, I don't know where I would be if I didn't have these two little girls. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I you think I'm a wild now? I would be really, really out there. So yeah. uh, they they definitely changed my life for the better, and I'm getting better every day for them. So. Oh, absolutely. Let's talk about the challenge a little. You know, we're talking about we're talking too much about the real world. I want to talk about the challenge, Tony. I, I don't want to talk about the. I want to talk about the physical stuff. You know what I mean? Like, so my question to you is: Did you kind of? So you you obviously everyone that watches the challenges know there's a lot of like physical activity. Did you kind of? have to do a lot of preparation and tailor your workouts before going on the show? Or did you kind of just go in and wing it and just ca- and just kind of do whatever that was expected? Like, talk a little bit about that. Um, let's see. I've done – so as of today, uh, I've done – so you could say I've done four seasons. Uh, I can go through each season. So Bloodlines, my first season, I knew that I needed to put some weight on. I knew that I needed to, you know – uh, getting the gym and kind of getting a good fitness routine because I was going on a challenge. If anybody remembers on Real World, I was probably a buck ninety, buck ninety five. I was, you know, and I'm six three, so that's skinny. Um, so yeah, I wasn't in the best shape. I knew I needed to put some muscle on, put some weight on. So I did that. I just went to the gym, just lifted weights, went out there on bloodlines, and uh, unfortunately, I got hurt. So I really wasn't able to gauge my performance level uh, too much. I went and then I was down and I was out. And I had to recover. It took me two uh, two months before I could even lift ten pounds. After that, and then a month after I could even lift, they called me for the next challenge, which was Rivals Three. So I went out there, not in the best shape of my life. Um, I didn't do too too bad in the daily challenges, but unfortunately, me and Camilla didn't see eye to eye, and we got we got booted out early. Um, so going into uh, the next one, which was Invasion, I know I had you know I had something to prove. I got hurt. I got kicked off. You know, it's time to step it up. Yeah. So I really I ramped up my um, I ramped up my exercise routine and I did a lot of cardio, lifted weights, make sure I wanted to be strong. And I went out there and uh, I think I really, really could have done good. But unfortunately, I went home on, uh, I hate to say, like a janky elimination because I don't want to, um, you know, um, disregard Shane's performance in that elimination. But uh, yeah, I don't think I really had a chance to perform and, and go as far as I would like to. Um, and then going into my fourth season for the Dirty 30. Um, I wanted I what I did for Dirty Thirty, I just lifted weights. I just lifted weights. Uh, I didn't really do any cardio, um, which is one of my biggest regrets. Uh, I didn't do any kind of endurance training. Nothing really long distance. No, I didn't work on my speed. I didn't work on balance. I didn't work on any of those things. I just really just lifted weights. And um, 
unfortunately, that's not that's not gonna get you too far out there. I made it far, but uh, I didn't perform as well as I could. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the fitness aspect of me going through these challenges. Absolutely. Now, if I if if I do another one, um, I could promise you there's, you know, because because I made it so far on Dirty Thirty, I was able to do all the daily challenges that were thrown at us. So now I know what to train for, what I need to get my body ready for. And uh, I can promise you going into the next one, uh, I'll be stronger and better than I've ever been before. No, oh, absolutely. And who would you say, like, whether it's like real world or the challenge, like, or like specifically the challenge, who are you the closest with um, outside, like, like out the, from the show? Like, is there, is, do you keep in touch uh, with a lot of people still? Or Yeah, I mean, Leroy literally just texted me, um, last night or two nights ago hey um, if he ever yeah, wants we, to come on the show that'd be kind of cool <laughs> bad boy leroy <laughs> yeah he's uh he's probably he's 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 great he, he's yeah. he's one of the best guys i've met out there uh down to earth just really a humble guy and um you know he he really looks out for me uh out there uh, there's a there's a lot of stuff that's not shown on the shows and uh leroy's definitely had some heart to hearts with me and stuff like that he's a really really good dude uh bananas bananas another guy that i really look up to up there you know going into my first season i kind of felt like he was he was like a big brother type you know yeah so uh, definitely definitely consider him uh an acquaintance if anything out there and um who else am i really really close with uh i mean i keep in touch with most of the guys most of the regulars you know I, i'll talk to Devin uh every now and then um me and Corey will go back and forth uh yeah, so I mean, you know, a couple of the guys, a couple of writers, but as far as who I'm closest with out there, I mean, I, people pretty much know it's it would be the older guys, you know, Bananas and oh, Leroy, uh, me and CT. We got a we got an okay relationship. Um, do Do you remember? Yeah. Do you remember? I think it was Real World DC. I think it was. Do you remember Andrew? And he had like the panda hat. Does that ring Andrew. a bell? Nope. No. Yeah, no. I'm just because. It was the season like after like the like Leroy season. DC Andrew. I think it was Andrew. I don't. There was I, no... didn't, I didn't watch that season. Le Leroy season might have been the last one I really watched. Okay, there was that was crazy. Like I remember Adam, who was also on the challenge. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. There. There was. There was some crazy stuff there. With with like there was some stuff with him and Leroy. Um, and I'm wondering too, is if, if it's, it's one of those things where, um, how much of it is kind of like, cause it's reality TV, but it's a yep. TV show. Right. Yep. So I'm wondering how much of that actually kind of impacts someone's everyday life when they kind of walk down the street and they're like, Oh my God, Leroy, why did you do that? You know what I mean? But it's like. It's almost like, well, I, I, I had to do it. You know what I mean? Or it was part of the show, right? Because it is, it's a, it, what, the fact of the matter is, it is a TV show. Isn't it kind of deceiving the reality aspect of it? Like it being real? Uh, I mean, it's real as it gets. I would love to use the excuse that like, oh, no, I, <laughs> I did that because the producers were like, hey, man, give us a little something tonight. Uh, but there's, there's usually no, no, forced, uh, no forced reality there. It all kind of happened, but I'm curious. What's up with this pant? What do you mean? He put a panda hat on. He, he had like, yeah, what, he was what, what like, they... he was like a quirky, like nerdy guy, and he had like, he had this panda hat that he kept wearing. Like it, it was, was a like, hat, like a like a, a flat bill hat. With yeah, a panda on it. yeah, and like a panda on it. Yeah. Oh man, Andrew's name was. I'm gonna have to look into this, man. It and was, then what did he do? What did he do with the panda hat? It's, or, he what? just wore it all the time, and then they'd go to like a bar, and everyone would be like, "Panda hat, panda hat." He like wear it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to look at some clips, man. I don't yeah, know why it was. Wearing a... I was just wondering because that was that season and Vegas season were the two that I like was obsessed with. Like I watched those all the time, and then also yeah. the season with Johnny and. Um, oh man, N Naya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Portland, 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 Portland. Yeah, Jordan and Naya, and yeah, yeah. That I, was, I've watched that one. That was a pretty crazy one too. Yeah, I seen that one. That was good. I wonder if this guy's still walking around with the panda hat on though. We should reach out to him and see what's going on. Yeah, 
I know it was, and there was one, <laughs> there was one episode when they when they get into the house for the first time. He's trying to do pull ups on <laughs> in the closet on the rack with the panda like, with the yeah, panda with hat the on. Panda hat, and then he like he falls <laughs> and he breaks it, and the girls are like, "You broke her closet!" Like day one. <laughs> no, it was it was good. I'll try to find you clips. Um, what was what has been your because you know there there's. It, it, interesting to say the least but like what has been your favorite part of being on these shows is there kind of like a highlight that you can kind of point out my favorite part about it is getting my passport stamped you know i get to travel the world for free so that's definitely the biggest perk of it for sure mm -hmm. where's you the know, coolest place go you've gone to go oh man um i really liked mexico hatuco mexico was really really nice um Colombia, Colombia was was really nice too. Uh, man, I I don't know. I'm trying to think. What? Oh, Thai, you know what? Thailand, Thailand, Thailand was was my favorite. Mm -hmm. Thailand mm -hmm. was my favorite. It was that was really 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 nice. Absolutely. No, it's cool that you get to uh, do those. Uh, it's true, but a lot of these shows, you know, the traveling and even talking to Josh from Big Brother, he was telling me that he has been just traveling nonstop and going to different appearances. You know what I mean? So I guess also like you got to strike when the iron's hot, right? Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, you you definitely have to. Um, you got to strike while the iron's hot. And I mean, for me, for myself, like as far as appearances and stuff like that, I can't do that. I mean, I got to. But as far I'm, I'm lucky to be able to go and do these challenges, you know. Yeah. Thank God, thank God for um, for Alyssa and you know, I, if if it wasn't for her holding it down at home, I wouldn't done that. I wouldn't be able to even do the challenges. Mm -hmm. So as far as appearances, and I can't really do as much as I would like to, just because you know I got to be the family man when I'm home mm -hmm. uh, for those two months that I'm gone at a time filming a challenge. Uh, that's kind of like my little getaway. And that's oh, me. Absolutely. Just me. That's me trying to strike the iron. No, it's hot for sure. Well, we'll 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 wrap up. Um, before we go, first of all, thank you so much for coming on the show. Absolutely, thank it was you it was really refreshing to hear kind of your perspectives and the kind of behind the scenes of the real world and the challenge. So that was really cool. What's next for Tory Reigns? Like, what can we expect? Um, expect besides being a father, <laughs> ex yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, we're not expecting another. Or, kid or is there a panda <laughs> hat coming in the future or something? Like, what's going on? A panda hat. No, I'll do a tiger hat. Okay. Tony the Tiger, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we'll, do, we'll do a tiger hat. <laughs> I'm going to wear one. If I get on another challenge season, I'll, I'll wear a tiger hat for you. And you'll, oh. You'll know that. You'll know that's for you. We heard that here. Yes. I would love that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, anything specific going on? or uh, Man, not really. You know, Dirty 30 just ended finally after 273 years. And uh, – <laughs> Now, uh, now we're just kind of we're just kind of in limbo. We're just kind of waiting to see uh, see what else MTV has in store. But uh, I'm I'm pretty sure it's going to be um, something really really good and there's bigger and better things on the way for me. Absolutely. Um, and ho ho hopefully a, a better performance. Yeah. Um, and and in the meantime, I'm just going to keep watching this Chance versus Stars, and I'm going to see if CT knocks uh, To out and um, you know and, and all that good stuff. But there should be something there should be something else coming down the pipe. Uh, for MTV and hopefully I'll be a part of it. So oh, very cool. Where can people follow you on social media? What are the handles? Uh, my Instagram handle is uh, at T underscore reigns. Yep. And my Twitter is at T underscore reigns 33. Perfect. Well, so thank make you. Make sure to follow. Thank you for coming on the show, Tony. I really appreciate it. Thank you, my man. No problem. I appreciate it. Well, this has been Pop Turnative. You can catch previous episodes of Pop Turnative on our YouTube and our website, popturnative.com. Be sure to Subscribe, uh, leave a like, leave a comment. Um, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. Until next time, this is Tony Rains and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.